Welcome to another Monday and question of the week where I tackle one question, do a deep dive into all the possible questions and all the possible answers. If you struggle with a question, let me know in the comments and I will tackle it as a question of the week, um, which I'll do every Monday. So all the questions and answers I'm taking from the Driving Test Success app. This is the app that I use in the classroom every week with my pupils. This is one I have more success with. I'm not saying that other apps are bad. I'm just saying this is the one I use and I get most success with. And so all the questions are drawn from this app itself. This week's question is about roundabouts. To be honest, all the questions and answers are very, very similar, but it's just the way it's worded. For some reason, when it's worded slightly different, you guys get thrown and then choose a different answer. And that's the reason why I'm tackling. There's quite a lot of questions, about 13 in total, but like I said, they're very, all very similar with all a very similar answer. So what I've done is taken out a few and sort of made it simple, if that makes sense. So hopefully you get some value from this. So moving forwards, when they talk about roundabouts, they are talking about big roundabouts, which this sign is for big roundabouts. If it's the blue circle with the three white arrows going around, that's a mini roundabout. But they don't refer to a mini roundabout on the theory test. They're only talking about big roundabouts. So the first question is you're approaching a roundabout. What should you do if a cyclist ahead is signaling to turn right? So you're approaching a roundabout. The cyclist ahead of you is signaling to turn right. What you should do is give the cyclist plenty of, the room, plenty of room. Now, the reason for that is a cyclist or horse rider, because they do use both, um, will choose the safest route for them. Now, if a car driver is in the right-hand lane signaling right, you can expect them to go right. That's what they should be doing. But if a cyclist or horse rider is in the left or right-hand lane signaling left or right, they can go in any direction. In this case, for the answer, you want to give the cyclist plenty of room. I will add as well on your driving test, you're not in a rush. So don't be in a haste to get past the cyclist or horse rider. The next question, you're approaching a roundabout. What should you do if there are horses being ridden in front of you? Give them plenty of room. So like I said, this particular question is very similar. All the answers are very similar. Just don't get thrown when they start to reword it slightly different. Just use a bit of common sense with it as well. Yeah, give horses plenty of room. Um, the biggest reason for that is because you can spook them if you pass too close, rev your engine and all the rest of it. So again, you're not in a rush on a driving test. So hold back, give them plenty of room. So the next question, you're following two cyclists as they approach a roundabout in the left-hand lane. Where would you expect the cyclists to go? And the answer to that is in any direction. As I explained earlier, cyclist, horse rider, we choose the lane that's convenient and safe for them. They're not following the same rules as a car driver. You see horse, you see a horse rider as you approach a roundabout. What should you do if they're signaling right but keeping well to the left? Stay well back. Similar to the first question we had, um, where we gave them plenty of room, stay well back, same thing. Like I said, just word is slightly different. So don't get thrown off. Stay well back is no different from giving them plenty of room. So with the questions, they, as we just seen the, the first three or four questions that we just had, they gave you questions. They can now give you visual clues as well. So they're giving you, um, cause not everyone's into words, some are visual and they can give you the visual um, picture on your test as well. So you're approaching this roundabout, what should you do when a cyclist is keeping well to the left while signaling to turn right? And again, it's no different from the previous answer, allow them space to turn, give them plenty of room, hold back. Whatever way they want to wear it, you're choosing the safest option out of all the options they give you. And to be fair, there's only going to be one that's really obviously safe. That's the one you want to go for. Because remember, the theory test is always about safety, safety, safety. All right. 
which vehicle is most likely to take an unusual course at a roundabout. So they're talking about vehicles now, motor vehicles, which ones are um, going to take the unusual route? And that's going to be your lorry, your long lorry um, because they have to swing out to get round. You guys as car drivers will stay a metre from the curb and do your left turn nice and tight. A lorry has to swing out. If it doesn't swing out, it end up mounting the pavement. So it's going to be a long vehicle or, again, they can use the word lorry on that. Don't get thrown off when they reword it. It's very simple, very straightforward, very basic. You guys just overthink things. What signal should you give when you're going straight ahead of the roundabout? So now they're talking about you as the car driver. So what signal should you give? I will add there's only three signals on the car. Turn left, turn right. That's your left indicators, right indicators and your brake lights for slowing down. So on this question, it says, what should you what signal should you give when you're going straight ahead of the roundabout? So there's no signal you would be giving on approach to a roundabout. So as you're approaching a the roundabout, there is no signal you're going to give. But when you're leaving a roundabout, you signal left before leaving. So after you pass the exit, you no longer lead, need give a left signal. And again, visual. What does this line across the road at the entrance to a roundabout mean? Now, the common answer for this, because it's white lines on the floor, um, pupils go give way. Notice it's single lines and it does say, say the entrance to a roundabout. Okay, so because they're talking about roundabouts, what do you do at roundabouts? For those of you taking driving lessons, you give way to your right on a roundabout. So you give way to your right. So that's what this line means. It's basically give way to traffic coming from the right. Um, and again, if you break it down, it says roundabout. So that's the answer you want to be going for, not a give way, which is the obvious one that my pupils tend to pick during the course week. So hopefully you got some value from that. Like I said, there's um, a few more questions about roundabouts, but they're all very similar, um, just worded differently. Um, it's a very simple question. Just don't overthink it. Always go for the safest option. And to be fair, out of all the four options they give you, it's always a standout one that is very straightforward that leads to safety if you have a question that you struggle with leave it in the comments below and i will pick it up and i will turn it into a question of the week i will see you next week if you got value from this please like comment subscribe and share it with your friends as well and i will catch you next week safe studying and i hope if you got a test this week you pass it let me know in the comments below